is becoming one of the top cities for young professionals. More and more technology-driven companies are also relocating to Reno as they see the value of a diversified region. Improving downtown Reno is a major component of economic development. Having a downtown that is alive with interesting business, art, and culture is what investors, students, and young professionals are looking for. Mayor Shibi, when we first sat down and talked with you back in March of 2019, you talked a lot about the next phase of downtown Reno, and it really was about creating better quality of life, utilizing the river, finding ways to engage people to come downtown and make it inviting. Is that where we still are right now? I think people forget how far we've actually come, and it's obviously something that makes a great city, great downtowns make great cities, so we've really, really, stayed focused on, on downtown redevelopment and economic vitality and arts and culture. Look at, we're standing right here on Local Motion Plaza, which is incredible. And also working with the university, bringing them downtown and looking at an initiative with the university to change one of our streets into University Avenue. I'm not gonna say which one. Those kinds of things, big initiatives. The river has been so critical to our downtown and we know that water attracts people, but also we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of challenges, but we also have a lot of opportunities. And so I'm really focused focused in downtown redevelopment. You have worked extensively with bids before you came to Reno. Relative to that past experience, what are some of the challenges that we face in Reno cleaning up our downtown? You know, a bid automatically includes challenges because of the nature of who we are and what we do, which is transforming environments. A smaller environment like Reno has big advantages. Everyone is fairly accessible in this environment. So it makes it much easier for me to get things pushed through the pipelines. A smaller community is also easier to get things realized if everyone is on the same page, everyone supports a vision. So there's a lot less red tape to go through than in a mega city like Los Angeles. When you think of revitalization, it's more than just throwing up beautiful murals and adding trees to an area. It's more than that. It's really looking at how to entice businesses to come to a downtown area. If we had a clean blank slate and there was nothing in downtown, we would start by saying, what will bring people down here to, to live and to work and to recreate? The good and the bad is that we have an existing framework. We have a downtown with streets and with a great river and with a lot of great amenities already there. So how do we take what we have and make it better? You want to work with great developers with great vision, but the city cannot afford to pay for that. And that's how you do create a quality of life. They're called private and public partnerships. And those are essential. There's one Reno and and there's a vibe about it. Uh, you know, there's the river running through downtown, which, you know, I think lots of places would love to have. I think the community at large is committed to m maintaining and, and keeping our historic places around through adaptive reuse. That's important to the community. I think arts is incredibly important to our community. Uh, and it makes for a downtown that's like no other. And as Mayor Shevey said, great cities have great downtowns. And she's speaking from my heart because there's not one city that I consider great that doesn't have a vibrant, amazing downtown that draws people, residents, and it also draws visitors from all over the world to come to enjoy that downtown. And that's what we will be in the near future. The University of Nevada, Reno is also growing. In our next episode, we'll explore why the connection between downtown and the university is vital to our continued economic success in Reno. We'll also examine new downtown developments, Reno City Center, the Neon Line District, and the new development coming to Keystone. Three projects with the goal of bringing vibrancy as well as increased economic value to downtown Reno.